Okay, we are all back from Eagleton. No one probably liked it there for good reason. That's a tough workout. So, important to do every once in a while. Let's get into our work today. We've been doing pretty good on legs, arms, and core through our, our week. So let's go and focus in on some skill development again. Last week we worked on our single legged squats or our pistols. Let's do, let's do a fast repeat. Let's do it again a week later and see if we can build on what we worked on last week rather than waiting a couple months to try it again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that down three ways. And then we'll, if you wanna try practicing some pistols and of course, most importantly, sending me up a selfie video of you working on your pistols. If you fall over, do I care? No, I want to see your effort, okay? So share that, share that with the group. We're all in the same place. I can't tell you how many times I fell on my butt trying to learn pistols. It is natural. So we're going to start out with that and we're going to start out with sitting on the box, right? Our leg out in front of us, our left leg, and we're just going to stand that up, okay? So and when we're coming down, stay in control. There we are, we're doing 10 reps like that, okay? Once you've done 10 on that one leg, you would switch to the other. Then, after that, we're gonna start standing and we're gonna go nice and slow and down, okay? So if you wanna rest that for a second and come down, even if you wanna stand that up like this, that's totally fine, and practice coming down. And then switch legs, we're going to practice coming down under control okay that's what we want to do with those pistols after we're done that if we have a door frame or something that we can hang on to and if we want to practice our pistols to depth but something to help us pull with to keep us balanced that's fine too so we can practice a few of those maybe holding a door frame to keep our balance and just using our legs for that entire strength that's movement number three after you've done that, if you're loose, if you're relaxed enough, and your legs are feeling up to it, and you want to try that one-legged pistol, right? When we're down, and we're up, and we're working on depth, right? So when I say depth, we got to get our hip crease to that knee crease. So, looking at that again, I hold my foot for my balance, not uncommon, and standing that up, and then switching sides, right? and standing that up, and that foot doesn't touch the ground. That's a full pistol. So, do your work, do your practice work, do a couple rounds of it. If you want to try full pistols, you can. If you don't want to, totally cool. If you're trying a pistol, send me a picture, send me a video. I do not care if you fall over. I will not share it on the internet if you do not want it shared out in the Facebook group. I just want to see where we're at, okay? Thanks, and get ready for a nice, fun running video on Saturday.